You packed and ready to roll? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> it's a good decision or a bad decision? I think it's an awesome decision. What are we doing? Des well, Destiny's determined that I need more Fox bodies in my life. I don't even have one yet, but that's what we need to do is go get a Fox body today. I'm going to jump in the car, get to a plane, fly to Denver. Cut to one hour earlier in that conversation. <laughs> so we were all kind of hanging around and uh, I don't know, got the wild hair to start checking Facebook Marketplace for, I don't know, maybe a Fox body Mustang. Turns out there's one that's actually relatively close here in Salt Lake City. It's uh, the sweet convertible Mustang. <laughs> Drop top, five point, oh. <laughs> Is he in Colorado though? Long line Colorado, yeah. Very interested in Mustang, solid nine out of 10. Need, needs paint job. It's <laughs> it not a man. nine out of 10. <laughs> it's not even a five out of 10. <laughs> you know, it's a, you know, probably staunch 165 horsepower. I mean, I feel like with the Hunafox design, I need to get a bit more familiar with, yeah. you know, the Fox bodies. Yeah, it's hard, yeah, start living the dream yeah, from the, like, from why the bottom a, up. Why a convertible? Right? It's the only option available right now. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's the right option right now. <laughs> that is the perfect summer hour for a park. I mean, Picture yourself rolling. <laughs> oh. This is what Hoonigan Racing Division was missing, right? <laughs> right, like, right. See, that's why we, we brought an official Hoonigan in to help us out here. Is this what you call scumbagging someone who's <laughs> doing something? <laughs> yes, this is exactly what that is. <laughs> Hoona truck, Hoona corn, convertible fox body <laughs> sitting in the shop. So yeah, this is the best idea. See, this is a this is what I'm talking about. Look. Ask for rock bottom cash price. Yeah, what's your rock <laughs> in cash? Make sure you today, put cash. Today. And then, but the, the, the S should be a dollar sign though, in cash. Today. <laughs> so we want to make sure it runs. What's your bottom barrel today? Cash with a dollar sign in hand price. <laughs> <laughs> trade him the Honda Ruckus scooter. You yeah. can go down the line because Scotto traded me the scooter <laughs> for the Audi and we can trade this. Oh, that was yours. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. This is Wheel and Deal in 101. You got, the, you got the video? I got a video, he just sent it to me of it starting up and it's actually informative here. Wait, let's... I can't, you can't. It's... Oh, no, 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 I just want to see that tack. <laughs> oh, he's got a, he's got a val uh, radar detector. He's got the passport. He, he's gonna have to throw that in. <laughs> he's got oil pressure. Definitely sounds like it doesn't have catalytic converters, which is perfect. <laughs> I like the Did you hear that thing start up? So, I mean, I was impressed. Yeah, that, you know what? It didn't. You didn't even hear a single lifter flatten out. <laughs> <laughs> well, flatten out, you can get that 345. The day is is really heated up here. We came in this morning with uh, bad news about um, the Kazi. Now we've elevated the game to buying a uh, used, pretty much clapped out five liter Mustang. Hey, Joel. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? This is uh, this is Zach. I'm here with Matt. We were uh, talking with you about the Mustang. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, look, man, we want to come and get it. Um, so, I'll tell you what, we're going to... Basically, we're going to have to catch a flight from here and then come out to you. So, the f any chance you can meet us at the airport? We're you know, flying from Salt Lake City. <laughs> with cash. With cash in hand. I mean, you know, so it'd be, at least it would be a nice, fun drive back. Let me see. Let me talk to my wife, see what she says, and then uh, I'll figure something out for you guys. We'll make something work. Awesome. You ready, Ken? Absolutely. You're born for this. You have worked your entire life training for this very moment. We're going to bring some essentials to fix in a Mustang. We've got NASCAR tape, radiator stop leak. Crescent wrench, shitty channel locks, ball peen hammer, sorted zip ties, hose clamps, some super glue, and, and various fuses. And of course, iconic duct tape. This may match the car better, so you don't know. 
that should do it. Dude, it's nice, it's a roll, but the whole idea of it is so you can like lay on it. So you can like, you know, not be on the, in the dirt. Hey, it's nice to not have to like lay in the damn dirt. Denver Airport? I mean, there is there's nobody here. And we are waiting to see this Mustang that we haphazardly decided to get on a plane and fly a few hundred miles and purchase sight unseen. That's, that's the sound. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this is it. It's gonna be a fun drive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. How's it going, man? Zach. Pretty good, how are you? Joel. Nice to meet you, Joel. So everything works. I mean, everything HP. That's right. It's got a nitrous kit on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that uh, empty? It's empty. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> When is the last time you bought a car off the internet like this? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you ready to party? It's gonna be a good Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Is there a seatbelt? Yeah. Thanks. Later, dude. Appreciate it. The good news is there's some oil in it, just not a lot. <laughs> so, good thing we stopped. Yeah. You know, in all, I was expecting this to be way more clapped out than it really is. I mean, there's your traditional, like, you know, wires that are just kind of tied together and then electrical tape in. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can shit everywhere, but... But the fact that there's this... <laughs> I mean, you can't just, you can't just fly into a city and buy a car sight unseen and not have nitrous. Yeah. We've confirmed that the tape deck works. We obviously can't play this because of rights. The jams are solid. I think now we're going to Switch it up to some Iron Maiden. around the edges, but she purrs like a kitten. 
You love this thing, don't you? I love the part of it. <laughs> Alright, I just gotta shout out how much of a quality vehicle this is. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, oh. Back to HRD. Late night. Oh yeah. <laughs> Long day. <laughs> Very. And it is uh 1:52 a.m. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well. And we, now we got to come back here in the morning and uh, do some hunting. Yes. See you guys in second. So after 500 grueling miles driving from the Denver airport straight back to Utah. We made it. We didn't even have any problems. And you know what? This is the first time we have ever flown and bought a shitbox sight unseen without a single problem. So you know what that deserves? A bitchin' beauty segment. Drop it on them! This majestic stallion. Oh, speaking of majestic stallions, what's up? You made it. How you feeling? Woo, a little beat up. <laughs> <laughs> the seats aren't exactly the most comfortable road trip seats in the world. No, you know, I don't think they were, uh, you know, apparently we just actually found out that they have adjustable lumbar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But does it work though? That's not a, really. That's a whole different question. I, I maxed it out and uh, it's still almost flat. So, <laughs> but that was a fun day yesterday. Uh, you know, the the Huda Fox is a project we recently launched, but I've never owned a Fox body. Now I now I can say officially I've owned and driven a Fox body over 500 miles. So, do you know what you haven't done yet, though? What's that? What you do best, Ken. Oh. <laughs> Here's what we did. This morning, everybody got here early. We put new spark plugs and wires on it, and Butch went and filled the nitrous bottle. <laughs> Which cost exactly $69. So Bam. Fully filled. No idea if the system works at all, but it's full. That's right. So you, uh, you wanna go hit some skids in this or what? Yeah, let's do this. It's party time. Let's go. Oh yeah, pop in bottles, baby. Get into second gear and hit that, hold the button down. Let's see if it works. So, found the problem. We got a little nitrous leak. Yeah. You know what? That's the next episode. Yeah, figuring out yeah, nitrous yeah. on the fox. This, let's get this burnout done. Let's just do a burnout.
Yeehaw! Well done, sir. Come see us next time where we fix the nitrous kit and hopefully don't blow the motor. Or maybe we do. Also, Ken, what do you think the people want to see with this? Man, I don't know. Uh, this could be my daughter's drift car or a fun drift car just for the whole family here in, in Utah. I don't know. Let's get everybody a comment below. What should we do with this Fox body besides the obvious choice of the Nitrobox? Need more ideas. <laughs> <laughs>